Hello future leaders, my name is Sarah Skafferin. We're here on the show floor of IMAX 2015 in Frankfurt and I'm just outside the New York City stand. In a few minutes I'm going to meet Bill McDermott, who is CEO of SAP, one of the biggest technology companies in the world, and we're going to talk about his success story and how he made his dream come true. I'm very excited to meet Bill and also to hear about his passion and share his story with us. How can our students, our future leader, follow their dream and make it reality? Well, the first thing is you have to have the dream. And I always remind people, dream big. And winners then do something else. They always have a plan and they set serious goals to attain that dream. Mm -hmm. It will not come easy. It will be hard. And that's why you should choose to do it. Because anything in this life worth chasing down is always tough and that's why it matters. A lot of young people face a lot of um, rough job market, competition, a lot of obstacles. So how can you stay positive when you um, experience all those setbacks? So the bottom line is it's never been easy. I think the first thing is this, the best part of you is you. Right. Be authentic, be who you were born to be, don't forget where you came from, and stay ever true to your determination around the goals in life that you were born to achieve. And then, let everybody know where you stand, that you have really audacious, bold dreams, and you're willing to do whatever it takes, as long as it's ethical, it's deep in integrity and character, mm -hmm. to achieve those goals. And if you stay ever true to that course, you will win. You will be a winner, and you will live the winner's dream. Bill, I also know you're very passionate about the meetings industry. Yeah. And the meetings industry is still quite a young industry and it tries to convene its meaning to the political and the corporate leaders. So where do you see um, the value of this industry? What is your perspective of the meetings industry? What I love about this industry is this industry is on the front line fighting the battle against leaders that actually think emails and PowerPoint ever changed a darn thing. <laughs> The only thing that changes things is a leader with a vision, a leader with determined goals, and getting a team around them that's inspired to do great things. All businesses are in the midst of reinventing something. You cannot reinvent anything without people. You can only get people bought in if they participate in the process. And once they do, train them, certify them, get them inspired and then turn them loose and let them do great things with their lives. So what for you makes a great leader? What are the key characteristics? Leaders come in a lot of different sizes, shapes and formats, right? right. But they have one thing perfectly in common. They have followers. So this idea of inspiring followership around a vision, shared goals, and a determined focus on things that truly do have a purpose for changing the world. For example, in 2010, we didn't celebrate the fact that we were the number one business software company in the world in applications and analytics. We said, the world's got to change the, data, the database. Everything has to be put in memory so you can manage this explosion of data. We have to be relevant and consumer grade to the users so they love the software. We have to put it in the cloud and we have to lead in business networking, commerce between companies. A totally new vision. How did we get it done? You had to bring all the leaders together to get them on the same sheet of music and then inspire the world to change right along with you. It starts with the meeting. You've got to get the meeting to go. So you have to set bold goals. Any business I've ever gone into, we always wanted to double the size of it within two or three years. We always wanted to do what it took 30 years for other people to do in two or three years. And by getting a big goal and galvanizing people around the mission, you get out of your comfort zone and you start to think about ideas that never came to the table before. Mm -hmm. And I truly believe if you do that with a purpose in service to other people, a purpose to change the world and improve people's lives, the money comes. By going for the high purpose and putting all your imagination, your fantasies around the high purpose, everything flows. That's the key. Right. I think that's a wonderful way to end this interview. Thank you so much, Bill, you. for your interview. I Thank appreciate you so much. it, Sarah. Thank, Thank you so much, much. Sarah. Great. Thank you. Great Thank to you be with you.